Hi everyone, Lisa here from Pretty Fabulous with a quick tip on ClickUp sidebar. So this little line here is showing you where your sidebar is to the left and basically your ClickUp workspace is over here to the right. So anytime I click on any of these items over here on the left, you're going to see everything over here in the view that I have, whether it's list or it's board. Now you can actually change how this entire sidebar looks. So if you jump up here to that gear icon, First of all, you're gonna see Darth Vader here on the bottom, and if I toggle that on, it's automatically going to become dark, which clearly, I mean, a girl did not design this because I would have picked pink and blue and yellow as different options for how to co color the sidebar on the left as different options. But I do like that immediately I can see that this clearly shows me where the sidebar is versus the rest of the area that I'm working on. Now, I do like the ability to go into layout size and style. So you're probably gonna have what I have, which is the default simple. Now, if we check out clean, um, and we say done, you're gonna see that all of those little space icons that you made are now showing up over here and they're much bigger than they were before. So that default one, if we go back over here to simple, you'll see that all of those little uh, icons that we selected when we first created these spaces were pretty small and you were like, well, can I really see it? Well, yeah, you can see it if you change the layout to clean. Um, and in fact, I think if you change it to large, it'll be even bigger. So if you really like being able to jump around to different spaces um, by just seeing that icon over here on the left, that might be something useful for you. Uh, if we jump over here to modern and we say done, then you're gonna see it basically just, and I did make it large, but it basically is gonna just take everything and kind of like make it small, or I guess kind of roll it up. So it's kind of trying to make it nice and tidy for you and nice and neat. Um, so those are really just all of your three options. Now, this expand all folders or close all folders doesn't really make that big of a difference for me because I don't really have a ton of folders inside of here. Um, so if I'm inside of courses, say, and I say uh, expand all folders, then it will expand with everything inside of those folders. Um, and then when I say close, it'll kind of clam them back up uh, and hide them. But again, that really only makes a difference if you use a lot of folders. Um, like over here, this is these are just all lists. So this really won't make a difference, close all folders, because there's no folders inside of there. Um, and if we jump back over here, we can change this to compact. And so basically compact, I think just makes everything you see on here smaller, medium, or large. That's kind of like what I think to, of these sizes, small, medium, large. See how it just gets slightly bigger. Um, simple, clean, moderate. Now again, over here, it says this is temporary and subject to change. I mean, maybe it's been saying that for like over a year now. So I think you're pretty safe to choose a space bar setting that you like and feel pretty confident that it will still be, still be there uh, later on. All right, that's it for today.